In this video, we will be solving equations with variables. Some vocabulary that you're going to need to know for this video and also for this unit and algebra in general are the terms variable, value, and equation. Um, the first one is variable, and it's just important to remember that a variable is a, usually a symbol or a letter that is representing or stands for a number. So in this first one here, we have square plus 5 equals 25. So we want to think, okay, what plus 5 equals 25? Well, obviously that's 20. Excuse me, triangle. So the triangle represents 20. The next problem over here, we've got 54 divided by D equals 9. Now D is our variable in this case. So 54 divided by what equals 9? Well, 54 divided by 6 equals 9, so D equals 6. So the variables in these two equations are the triangle and then the letter D. Now a value is simply what the variable stands for. So you might hear, find the value of tri the triangle. So the value of the triangle is 20. Or you might see, find the value of the variable, or D. So the value of D equals 6. It's just what it stands for. Now each equation that we see is going to have, in, for our purposes, is going to have one of these six symbols in it. So we've got our equal sign, our greater than sign, less than sign, then our not equal to sign is the, the uh, equal to with the slash through it. That means not equal to. So for example, 3 is not equal to 2, or 2 is equal to 2. And we could do 3 is greater than 2, and then 2 is less than 3. Just remember, think of it like an alligator. The alligator eats the bigger number. Now something you may not have seen yet are these little lines underneath the greater than and less than symbols. Those little lines simply mean it's greater than or equal to a number. So you could see 3 is greater than or equal to 3 because it is indeed equal to 3. It's not greater than 3. You might also see it 3 is less than or equal to 4. So again, these symbols here the inequality signs, the um, greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, always have that little line underneath them. So that's some, some new vocabulary that you may not have heard before. In order for something to be an equation, it must have one of these six symbols. So you need to be looking for that equal to, greater than, less than, not equal to, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to symbols. Now just these six that you see right here at the bottom of your page. This is homework question number one. Which of the following is an equation? Go ahead and pause the video here and decide if you think A, B, C, or D is an equation. Then go on to the Moodle and enter your answer into your homework. The next thing we're going to be talking about is solving for a variable. So if we're trying to solve for a variable, we're trying to decide what the value of the variable is. So what that variable would have to equal in order to make the equation true. So in this one we have 3 plus h equals 48. So 3 plus what is going to equal 48? We know that 3 plus 45 equals 48, so the value of h is 45. Now if let's pretend you didn't know that 3 plus 45 equals 48, you can simply subtract 3 from 48 and get 45, and that will help you solve for h. And you, you'll be doing that more in... 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, but it's good for you to be aware of it right now. This next one might look a little strange to you. It has a p dot 9 equals 63. Mm -hmm. In mathematics, a dot always means to multiply. So p dot 9 means p times 9 equals 63. So again, we're asking ourselves, what times 9 equals 63? We know that 7 times 9 is 63. So the value of P is 7. Now for those of you um, that are listening right now, please go ahead and put a star with a circle around it in the upper right hand corner of your homework paper. Again, put a star with a circle around it in the upper right hand corner of your paper. The next one is 8 equals 56 divided by B. So again, we're solving for the variable B. And we're asking ourselves, 56 divided by what equals 8? 
We know that 56 divided by 7 is 8, so the value of B is 7. This is another kind of strange equation that you may not have seen before. What we have is we have a number next to a letter. So again, in math, this may say, seem strange, but when you see a letter next to a number, it again means to multiply. So we're thinking in our head here, 4 times what is 32? We know that 4 times 8 is 32, so the value of R is 8. And again, we're seeing another strange thing we might have not seen before. We have a number, and then in parentheses, we have a variable. Again, just like the dot and just like the number next to the letter, when a number or a letter is in parentheses, it means to multiply. So we're asking ourselves again, 3 times what is 21? We know that 3 times 7 is 21, so the value of F is Seven. Last one, we're going back to that dot, and you would know from the previous page that a dot means to multiply. So 5 times 6 equals 30, so the value of y is 30. Now go ahead and answer this homework question on the homework form on the Moodle. And the question here is, which value makes the equation 6n plus 12 equals 18 true? You need to pick the best answer. Make sure you show your work on your notebook paper and keep that paper in your math notebook, please. Next, we are going to solve expressions when given a variable. Now, notice this is an expression here because it does not have an equal sign and not equal sign, a greater than or less than sign. So the question asks us, what is the value of 3k plus e when k equals 4 and e equals 6? So we're given the value of each one of these variables. We know that k is 4 and e is 6. So we simply just have to substitute them into our expression here. So we've got 3k, so 3 times 4. Remember when a number is right next to a variable, that means you need to multiply. So we have 3 times 4 plus e. Now we know e is 6, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this step by step, and we want you to show your work whenever you do these problems, even if you think you can do it in your head. We want to see the work on your paper because silly mistakes happen. So first we're going to move from left to right, and once we start doing order of operations, we'll give you some more specific details on what we want you to do, but for now you're going to move from left to right. So we're going to do 3 times 4, and we've got 3 times 4 is 12, and then we have 12 plus 6. And now pay close attention to this, because this is how we want you to show your work. Each time you evaluate an expression like this, we want you to make it look like a funnel or a tornado with lines on either side. This is going to help you stay organized. So now we can continue. 12 plus 6 is 18, so the value of 3k plus e equals 18. Let's do one more of these. What is the value of C divided by 4 plus 4 minus W when C equals 36 and W equals 4? So again, we are given the value of each one of the variables and we need to um, solve this expression. So we've got C, which is 36, divided by 4 plus 4 minus w, which is 4. So the first step is we're going to write this out while substituting in the numbers for the variables. Next step is to solve it piece by piece from left to right. So first we're going to do 36 minus 4. That gives us 9. 36 divided by 4 equals 9. Now we're going to write out the rest of the expression just as it is. So 9 plus 4 minus 4. Again, we're going to start to create that tornado or funnel effect. Next step from left to right is going to be 9 plus 4. 9 plus 4 is 13, and we'll write in the minus 4 there. Again, even if you're solving this in your head, you need to show your work. 13 minus 4 equals 9. 
So the value of C divided by 4 plus 4 minus W when C equals 36 and W equals 4 is 9. This is homework question number three. So go ahead and pause the video. The question is, what is the value of 4A dot E when A equals 6 and E equals 2? Remember that the dot means to multiply. So pause, answer the question in your math notebook, and then enter your answer online. Our last homework question today is homework question number four. Again, you're going to find which one of these makes the equation 10m plus 4 equals 44 true. So you'll have to figure out which number represents m the best, or what is the value of m. Again, make sure you are showing your work. Make sure that if you've been listening throughout this video, you know what you need to do on your paper. And we will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful night.